Okay, so we just had our lesson and I think we hit a lot of our goals. So um, why don't you go ahead and just give a recap of some of the things that you learned and that you thought were important? Um, I really like the the setup with the ball thing. So the ball's consistently in the same spot mm -hmm. in my stance. Um, I realized how I'm coming over or like under yeah. and I'm starting to feel that. I haven't f like really fixed it, but I'm starting to f like understand how that feels and what I need to fix, which I feel like is really good because now I can, if I do go and practice, I can do that myself. And then I really liked the, just starting to feel like consistency, like where I'm starting to swing the club the same and have the same like swing every single time. Gotcha. I, yeah, I think you were doing a really good job of getting your swing plane more on a one swing plane because when we started out, we were really struggling with you coming over the top. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's something really important that we kind of were uh, tackling today. Mm -hmm. um, I also think that we learned because of your background in swimming and dive, you have a lot of core strength mm -hmm. and you use that a lot in your swing and it's a little difficult to have your strength come from your lower body but that's what we want to see when yeah. we're swinging the club. That was like the hardest part of the lesson was yeah. like trying to get like the, the weight transfer instead mm -hmm. of just using my body as like the swing. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't know that I was doing that wrong. I thought that that was like how it was supposed to be yeah. just because that's how I've always been. No, yeah, that's good that we figure that out. Um, I think for like, uh, if we have another lesson on the range for a long game, mm -hmm. that's something that we should continue to work on. And I think um, a lack of that right now is still leading to you hitting it. I think your misses today were definitely just thin. Mm -hmm. I think like that's what was happening. So yeah, I feel like I do have an issue with like standing. Yeah, like, lifting my body up. So if we continue to work on getting the power from the lower body and staying down, I think that in time, the thinness as you're missed, that will go away. Yeah. So we'll get more consistent with that. Yeah, I feel like like the thing you were explaining too with like over-exaggerating and then um, like kind of not thinking about it so much and then it kind of just becomes natural. Mm -hmm. That really like helped me with like my practicing at least because I – I was like getting frustrated because I was I was doing like the thing you're telling me to and it wouldn't like connect and then when I would stop thinking about it it would be just in my natural swing that, yeah. and that was like that was really satisfying and it really made me happy about my my, my playing today because of that. Good. Um, so now that we've got that and we hit a lot of our goals for today yeah. um, for the next lesson like what's something that you want to focus on? Um, I didn't, oh, I mean, I didn't know that my, like, long game was, like, as bad as it is. Like, it was kind of falsely good, mm -hmm. but, like, I would like to still work on my long game, but I would also really want to work on my short game. Oh, wait, what's going on there? I just, it's just kind of the same thing. I'm really inconsistent with, mm -hmm. like, chipping and stuff like that, and um, putting, I feel like I'm getting better at but it's still just not there. Like mm -hmm. I'll, I consist, I consistently like, like two and three putt holes, and mm -hmm. then like, that's even if I can get onto the green from chipping. Like I'll have to. Sometimes I won't even chip. I'll just like putt from the, uh, what's it called, the fringe. The front, the front. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I think that's good. Next time we'll just work on some fundamentals for short game, mm -hmm. uh, to help you there, because that's definitely where scoring comes from when we get out on the course. <laughs> yeah. So, um, just to close it out, uh, how many days a week are you, or are you able to practice? Do you have time for that? Um, yeah, I mean, probably like maybe once or twice a week. Usually once, but maybe some weeks twice. That's good. So, uh, a recommendation for like your future practices mm -hmm. is to just do an hour on the range, maybe just the first 10 minutes work on some of like the drills that we talked about today yeah, um, to get those lesson. exactly to right. get those fundamentals down and then do maybe 20 minutes of uh, shorter irons and your wedges mm -hmm. 
and then move on 20 minutes woods 10 minutes driver and then the last few minutes just close out and just continue to work on throughout the entire practice just like the fundamentals that we've been doing today okay